السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين صلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا ثم أما بعد الإمام النووي رحمه الله تعالى still continuing in the, the chapter on the condemnation of uh, two-faced people people two faces which is a sign of hypocrisy قال في بابي ذم الوجهين أو ذل الوجهين وعن محمد بن زيد أن ناسا قالوا لجده عبد الله بن عمر رضي الله عنهما إنا ندخل على سلاطيننا فنقول لهم بخلاف ما نتكلم إذا خرجنا من عندهم قال كنا نعد هذا نفاقا على عهد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم رواه البخاري In this hadith um, Muhammad ibn Zayd radiallahu an said some people said to my grandfather his grandfather was Abdullah ibn Umar ibn Khattab said we visit our rulers and then we tell them things contrary to what we say when we leave them which is something very common these days when people they go in front of a ruler a governor someone in authority and they face them basically with the nice you know pleasant face so when they praise them, they talk nice about them, they just, whatever, they say things to please them, perhaps. He said, وَإِذَا خَرَجْنَا لَكِنْ كُنَّا إِذَا خَرَجْنَا مِنْ عِنْدِهِمْ But when we leave, we speak contrary to what we just talked about them, right, or to them. So when they're on their own private circles, we say things differently. As if they're just kind of hiding themselves in front of these rulers, but when they're on their own, on their own private circles, that's when they show their real face. So, Abdullah ibn Umar ibn Khattab, he said, كُنَّا نَعُدُّ هَذَا نِفَاقًا عَلَىٰ عَهْدِ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهِ عَلَىٰ وسلم. He said, in the days of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم, we counted this, this act as an act of hypocrisy. So this is the act of an hypocrite. That's what he's saying exactly. I know today, today in our time, many people, they think this is an act of cleverness. That you stand before somebody, you say good things, and you just, you get away with these things. But when you come to your private circles, you say the worst things or the terrible things. They think this is cleverness. But here, Abdullah ibn Umar, he says, this is hypocrisy. So in this case, what needs to be done? What needs to be done, if you couldn't say anything good because there is nothing you think considered good to say in front of them just remain quiet remain quiet don't try to say things that you don't believe in in front of them and then if you would like to take to the next level the prophet sallallahu alaihi said that the highest level of jihad and the best level of jihad is someone who speaks the truth in front of an unjust ruler so you speak the truth regardless of the circumstances but you don't say things there and then outside you start something else afterwards. <clears throat> you need to be true, whether in front of someone of an authority or somebody else. If someone was now in a position that was so scared and afraid, that's a different story now. If someone was in a position that he was now trying to avoid a, an actual uh, imminent harm that might be afflicted on him or her in front of these people, in this case they are allowed they are allowed to say whatever they are requested to say to save themselves from that imminent harm. But the first scenario, there wasn't any imminent harm at all. It was just you volunteering saying good words to them. But in the second scenario, there is a, there is a chance that this person might be harmed. In this case, they are allowed to say the word that might save them. And then afterwards, they just maintain the truth in their heart, inshaAllah, wa ta'ala. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِلَّا مَنْ أُكْرِهَا Except for those who have been coerced when their heart is confirmed with Iman. And when, Ab when Ammar ibn Yasir, he lost his father and his mother <coughs> for Abu Jahl, when they tell, told the truth, the Prophet وسلم, he gave him the permission. He said, Ya Rasulullah, they forced me to say bad things about you, and I say it under pain and torture. And the Prophet وسلم, told him that every time they do that to you, just say the words. Give them what they're asking for. And don't feel, don't feel guilty about it. As long as the iman is confirmed in the heart, there should be nothing wrong with that, inshaAllah. Tabaraka wa ta'ala. Wallahu ta'ala. Subhanakallah wa bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa tawbarik. Assalamu